Hi, this is uh, Matthew Robert Payne. And uh, if this is uh, the first video that you've seen of me, uh, welcome, hello. Uh, if you've uh, followed my channel uh, for quite a while, uh, this will be a new video for you. Um, this is going to be called Moving in Prophetic Encouragement and Planting Seeds. Um, there's a, a subject that's covered uh, pretty well uh, uh, um, by books, uh, by authors called Prophetic Evangelism. And uh, an example of Prophetic Evangelism is what Jesus did uh, with the woman in Samaria at the well. Uh, he encountered her, gave her a prophetic word about her life, and opened up a whole life and got her prepared uh, and her whole city prepared for the gospel. Um, it opened a door uh, in her life, but he used the prophetic word by saying, you've spoken correctly. You've had five husbands and the one you're currently uh, with, you're not married to or something like that. Um, he also, uh, the guy that was up the tree, I forget, his name, uh, he called him by name um, and uh, that opened up an opportunity. He said, uh, today I'm going to have uh, dinner at your place. And uh, so that's another level of prophetic uh, getting uh, names. Uh, and uh, I know people who can, uh, you know, speak to people and get names and dates and anniversaries and all sorts of things, and that's another level of the prophetic. But today I want to talk to you about prophetic encouragement. And this is uh, an area that uh, the Lord has uh, been leading me into, the Holy Spirit has been leading me into. And it's something that I possibly want to suggest uh, to uh, people that they start to move out in that, this. And I do it in two ways. Um, I, I do uh, prophetic encouragement and this plain encouragement. Uh, and uh, the two uh, can work together. They can uh, be separate or, or, they, uh, or they can just be individual themselves or they can work together. Like I've said that twice. I've said that twice. Uh, so often uh, there'll be a, a woman with uh, long hair and a really beautiful hair and uh, I'll be led to say to her that uh, she should keep on growing her hair. Her hair looks beautiful. Or uh, um, Often I travel with uh, saints uh, from the Bible or walking with me. And often uh, I'll get uh, a word of knowledge, which is supernatural information about a person. Um, and... Uh, I'll get uh, a character trait or something that's really good about the person. And uh, if it's a really stunning girl, often I'll walk past her and not deliver it. And uh, that's when Mary Magdalene, who travels with me sometimes, uh, pulls me up and sends me back to talk to the stunning girl. Um, sometimes a young stunning girl can be too intimidating for me. and. I get the impression that I'm a dirty old man and that's what Satan says to me. Uh, but I'll go back and I'll encourage her with that prophetic word. I remember one time I walked past uh, this really young, about 17 year old, really stunning uh, brunette. And uh, I walked past her, I got the word of knowledge in my mind. Like I got uh, the message that uh, she really needs to hear in my mind. And I ignored it and kept on walking. And Mary Magdalene grabbed me and sent me back. And she said, pretty girls need to hear from God too. And so I went back and I, I said, you know, you, you've just got um, a wonderful, uh, deep and caring personality. You, you're very, so that's one wonderful, deep and caring personality. That's one word of knowledge. Uh, you, you're very compassionate. Uh, on people, you you you, uh, you show your love through acts of service. You've got compassion, and uh, number three, you're really kind uh, to people. And um, 
and there's an expression that she's beautiful inside and out and uh and uh i i'd imagine uh a lot of uh, men a lot of a lot of people would treat you differently because you're so beautiful you're so pretty um, but uh, few fewer people actually see your inner beauty the things that I've just mentioned that uh, you're the kind of girl who who um, who would take compassion on a homeless person on a poor person who's not dressed so well on a person who's lonely who just wants to talk you've just got the personality that just loves people and is kind to people and loving and compassionate to people and you're a really beautiful girl and uh, i just wanted to encourage you is this your mother and uh and uh, we only see in part so we don't know everything and the woman nodded and said that she was a mother and i, I said i, I just want to reinforce to you that you've brought up a really beautiful daughter here and uh, you've done a really good job. So that's what uh, God wanted me to say to you today. Uh, God bless you. And uh, I walked off and I overheard the mother saying, see, I've been telling you that for years. See, will you listen to him? Will you listen to what he said? He doesn't know anything about you and he's just described you to a T. And uh, I sort of slowly walked off listening to her mother saying, see, I told you this, I've been telling you this. And uh, it's really remarkable because here's, here's a beautiful young woman who, who everyone knows is stunning and everyone pines over and says how beautiful she is. But she doesn't believe she's worthwhile inside. She, all the things that count, all the character traits that count, she doesn't believe those things about herself. And that's often the case uh, with uh, truly stunning women is they, they have low self-esteem because uh, people are always gushing over how stunning they are and how beautiful they are. And, uh, and uh, they, they don't come to understand their inner qualities and their inner abilities. Uh, so I would call that prophetic encouragement. I didn't uh, tell her about a future. I didn't uh, tell her about uh, really in-depth things, uh, but um, it was a life-changing prophetic word. And I would put that uh, in my category as prophetic encouragement and planting seeds. I told her at the end that God had told me to tell her that. Uh, sometimes I say, Jesus told me to tell you that. Uh, but um, Here's the thing I want to bring up with you. As long as you say God bless you, as long as the person knows that God has sent you, why do you need to convert a person? Why do you need to lead them in a sinner's prayer? Um, I, I uh, wrote a, a book called Prophetic Evangelism, Prophetic Seed Sowing. Um, uh, prophetic Evangelism Made Simple, Prophetic Seed Sowing. And uh, I believe that, um, well, I know for a fact that uh, statistics show it takes six to seven encounters on average with the gospel before a person is saved. And uh, I like to say that I'm a sower of seeds. I don't reap uh, many harvests. I don't lead many people to the Lord, but I lead a lot of people towards the Lord. And uh, this is why... Mary uh, Magdalene travels with me and it bilocates. She's in heaven and on earth at the same time. And whenever I uh, get uh, like that download of a message uh, for a girl as I walk past her, whenever I ignore the girl because she's too stunning, uh, Mary Magdalene will stop me and send me back. And, uh, and, uh, but I want to share uh, some, something that I call uh, encouragement. So you can uh, walk up to a girl and uh, say, that's a really lovely blouse that you've got on that really goes well with your handbag and, and your hair. You look really beautiful in that. And, uh, and um, I just sort of tell you, and that's all you got to say. Uh, so there's, there's, it's just not uh, women, you know. Um, I'll walk up to a man in a suit and, and I'll say, uh, ZZ Top had a song about you. I have to say that uh, to an older gentleman, not a young man. 
and um, he'll, they'll say, uh, what's the song? And, and uh, I'll say, uh, everybody's talking about a sharp dressed man. And uh, I said, you dress really sharp, man. And, uh, and uh, they really appreciate it. So um, one, of, uh, <coughs> one of my strongest spiritual gifts, or actually my strongest spiritual gift, is the gift of encouragement. And uh, everybody who knows me uh, knows that I'm a tremendous encourager of people. And it just so happens that having a prophetic gift uh, really helps with encouragement because uh, prophetic uh, words uh, can be very encouraging to people, but it's actually the encouragement that, that leads with me. So uh, recently I've been doing prophetic uh, 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 words from my website where I get paid uh, to do prophetic words. And recently there's been a real theme that the Holy Spirit has just been speaking nine or ten minutes just to a person about how much he loves him and why he loves him and um, they've been very wholesome and really encouraging prophetic words and uh, and uh, I, I'm really encouraged uh, to to be using them and and to do, be doing them and um, you, you may not be prophetic, you may uh, not have a prophetic gift, but I encourage you, I encourage you to look around uh, next time you're in a shopping centre and you're in uh, an eating area where there's people, just uh, pray to the Lord, uh, for the Lord to make someone stand out and, uh, and uh, you can uh, ask the Holy Spirit uh, when you see someone that stands out um, don't be surprised if you're a male, if it's a pretty female. Um, uh, and uh, she, she may uh, be standing out because the Lord is making her stand out. Um, but uh, just ask the Holy Spirit for one or two character traits that are really good with that person um, that uh, they really excel in. And then it's just a matter of going up to the person and, and, and saying, and you could say to a person, excuse me, uh, I'm practicing a gift and that gift allows me to get a message for a person. Today, I've got a message for you. Um, you're a really kind person, you know. Uh, you, you, you're the sort of person who overhears someone saying they can't pay their rent and you're taking them aside and giving them $200. Uh, you're, you're the sort of person who uh, someone comes to the workplace and uh, they don't know anyone and you take them out for lunch and you show them the ropes and you introduce them to your friends. You, you, you're kind. You, you're, just, you're just naturally kind and that's just a really beautiful thing about you. And one other thing about you that um, I sense is that uh, you're really honest and Sometimes you've almost lost friends because of your honesty and, uh, and uh, you, um, it's costly. And uh, uh, God just wants to encourage you to continue to be honest because we need honest people in this world. So have a wonderful day. Uh, may God bless you. And I hope that really encouraged you. Oh, that really did encourage me. You made my day. Yeah, thank you very much. See you later. Um, so I've taken people out. Who, who didn't have a prophetic gift. And I've just asked them, I've just pointed to a person and said to uh, uh, the person that I was training, uh, what, uh, what's a couple of good character traits that you can see in that person? And your intuition can see it. You can sense it in a person. And uh, the person may say, I, I sense that the person's really caring and really disciplined. And then I'll go up and I'll introduce myself to the person and say, I'm uh, helping a friend develop his spiritual gift. And he reckons you're really disciplined and you're really caring. You're disciplined in a way that everything is in order in your life. So you say the character trait and then you go and make an explanation of what that character trait is so they can recognize you know, that that's really them. And then you go on to the second character trait and then just say, um, 
may God bless you and have a wonderful day. I hope that encouraged you. And uh, they'll give you feedback that really made my day. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot for that. But I, I find I, I live in a heathen nation uh, in Australia. Only 5% of Australians go to church or pre-COVID they did. Uh, so 95% of Australians don't go to church on Sunday is different to America, uh, where 40% of Americans go to church or something like that. So if I can do it in Australia and not offend people, you can do it in America. And um, you can just start uh, to encourage people by saying uh, something nice about their clothes or something nice about how they look how the presenter, you can just go up and encourage a person, gee, your hair looks nice, gee, that's a nice colour in your hair. Actually, I sense that you're really honest too. I, I sense that you're really honest, but oh, not when it comes to my taxes. Yeah, well, we, we're not really honest about the taxes sometimes, but uh, in, in general matters, I, I sense that you're really honest uh, is that the case? Yeah, it is. Yeah, well, thanks for letting me practice. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. And um, I find that if you say God bless you or Jesus told me to tell you this, uh, that uh, it lets a person know uh, who's behind it. Um, recently, re uh, recent, uh, in recent times, I've uh, had some carers come into my life uh, who are looking after me and uh, the government's paying for them and it's just like having friends that I can go out for coffee and meals with and to the movies with and uh, can help me cook. And uh, recently I've been out with them, but before I was out with them, that's the only way I was meeting people and interacting with people. I didn't have any friends. And uh, so... I uh, did prophetic encouragement and prophetic evangelism a lot uh, just to interact with people and start conversations. And if you ever were, was in my city, if you ever in my town and you came out with me, you'll notice that I can go to my shopping centre and say hello to 10 people who are owners of shops and uh, owners of cafes and uh, staff in cafes and everywhere I go someone's saying hello to me because I've made friends everywhere and interacted with people and encouraged people so I encourage you uh, to plant a seed for Jesus uh, this uh, t-shirt says uh, the world doesn't need more Jesus preached it needs more Jesus lived um, and that's the message of, of this, uh, this video, that the world needs more Jesus lived. And uh, the world is getting uh, really dark at the moment. Things are closing in on the Christian ethic. And it's time for us Christians to start shining and start uh, developing uh, ways and strategies to reach the lost and uh, reach people. And, and beside all that, even if the person's a Christian and, and you're not saving someone, it's really good to be encouraged. It's a beautiful thing uh, for someone to encourage. Uh, I, I'm a member of a Christian writers group on Facebook and uh, each day, uh, every second day I post a post on there really encouraging the writers because I've written 60 books. And uh, so I like to post and lift up the writers and encourage them. And today one of the people commented and said, I really like your post, Matthew, that they're, they're really encouraging. And um, that was really encouraging for her to say to me and uh, so, so my life, uh, I'm naturally spiritually gifted with the gift of encouragement. Everywhere I go, I encourage people. I'm always uh, finding a reason to encourage. And to be an encourager, uh, you've, you've got to have a good ability. You've got to have discernment. And uh, you have to be very observant of people and observant of things and, and uh, different situations and different people. And... Uh, 
uh, when you're observant, you know that that girl in the office has never worn that dress or never worn that blouse before. And you're able to say, is that new? And she may say, no, she's had it in the closet for six months, but this is the first time she's worn it. Well, it's really beautiful. It really looks nice on you. Um, and uh, it helps if you know a little bit about fashion. It helps uh, if you've got a good eye for fashion. It's like photographers have a good eye for what makes a good photo. Uh, so it helps if you know what things are and the terms. But it can be as simple as I really like your nails. How are you going today? You, you, you've seen a little down today. Is everything okay? Is there something I can pray for? That's just a beautiful segue into something spiritual. Um, and uh, most people won't uh, object to you praying for them. And uh, I tell people, uh, I ask people about their life and people may say that uh, they're going for a job interview. And uh, and uh, I, I say as I get off the train, uh, what's your name? And they say, Mark. And I say, Mark, I'll pray for you uh, in my prayers tonight that everything goes well with your job. And there you've planted a seed that you're going to pray for them. If they get that job, an angel's going to speak to them and say, that's because that guy on the train prayed for you. And it's a seed. And so um, I, I don't encourage people to plant seeds. I just plant seeds everywhere I go and everything I do. This is what this T-shirt means. Uh, this world doesn't need more Jesus preached. It needs more Jesus lived. When people meet me, they meet Jesus. They meet Jesus in a person. And if you can imagine meeting Jesus, he'd just be the most wonderful person. And uh, if you're consistently doing something wrong, He'd speak up and tell you uh, that um, every time I I go out to a restaurant, you're really rude with, with the servers. I'd appreciate it next time we go to a restaurant if you were polite. If you have an issue with something, be polite about it and don't be rude. Um, uh, these people know me at these restaurants I'm taking you to and it's um, affecting my reputation your rudeness. So if you're ever in a restaurant, I suggest, please be polite. Now, Jesus would give that sort of rebuke to um, a person that he cared about. Um, so you can have boundaries. You, you, you don't have to be Mr. Nice Guy to be a Jesus to people. But Jesus was just a beautiful person to know. And uh, even when he rebuked the Pharisees, they never forgot it. It's just like Trump. Uh, when when he rebuked people, they really got the message and they really remembered it. And you can bet when Jesus spoke those seven woes to the Pharisees, calling them whitewashed tombs uh, or brood of vipers, uh, you can bet that some of those guys never forgot it. Um, there, there's a thing in the Bible called the law of first mention. So when when a word is mentioned in the Bible for the first time, the, the contextual meaning around that word uh, carries the context for that word all the way through the Bible. So if you're looking for a context of a word, you need to look at the context of the first time that word is mentioned in the Bible. So uh, the first time vipers is mentioned in the Bible is when Satan was a snake. So when Jesus called the Pharisees, you brood of vipers, he was saying, you brood of Satans. That puts a different spin on his insult, doesn't it? Uh, so um, Jesus wasn't just a walkover and neither should we be, but uh, Jesus was someone who would point out your flaws. Um, the, the vipers were, um, the, the, the viper was Satan in a snake and, uh, and Jesus was saying, uh, Satan is in you guys and using you as a vessel. And uh, so he, to, to someone who understood the insult, 
it would impact them and cause repentance. And, uh, and so Jesus didn't do things half-heartedly. Even when he rebukes you, he's doing it in love. On the very cross, he said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. That means the Jews were forgiven. Uh, they, they, didn't, they didn't have to holocaust Nazi Germany. They didn't have to holocaust because they killed Jesus. Jesus forgave them. That wasn't divine retribution. That was someone possessed by Satan. And Satan hates Jews and Christians, hates them. And uh, so um, I just want to encourage you to start to encourage people. Encourage someone today. When you watch this video, within 24 hours, I want you to encourage someone. Just tell someone you like their haircut or tell someone you like their beard or tell someone you like their dress. And, and guys, you go and encourage the girls and don't have an agenda. Don't, don't be, a, a girl knows when you're giving her a compliment and you want something from the compliment. If you've got no lust in your mind and you don't want something from the girl and you're just giving her a compliment, a girl will receive a compliment off a strange guy if there's no ulterior motive and girls love it and and men men encourage the women encourage the older women and and girls encourage the guys 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 are walking around forlorn and they haven't got any friends and girls just pay compliments to guys just tell guys how good they are and go on and just be good to this world. Just go and start to encourage people in this world. Just lift people up. And if you want uh, the gift of prophecy, um, just uh, pause the video uh, right now and then uh, put on some worship music. Uh, uh, put on, I'll tell you when to pause the video, but put on some worship music. Listen to some worship music for a little while. Pause the video now. Put on some worship music and come back to the video when you're ready and you're feeling the presence of God. And I'll pray for you to get the prophetic gift. So you're back now listening to the video. Uh, so I'm going to pray for everyone listening to this uh, to uh, get the three gifts of prophecy, word of knowledge, word of wisdom and uh, and prophecy. So dear Father, so, so I'm going to pray this for you on your behalf. At the end of it, just say amen if you agree. Dear Father, I recognise that uh, the gifts of the Holy Spirit come from you. I recognise as a Christian that uh, you want to equip me with the three gifts of prophecy so I can prophetically encourage people in the days to come. I ask that you give me the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, and, and the gift of prophecy. And I uh, will go and do my research reading Matthew's book, Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple, and uh, learn what those gifts are. And I ask that uh, you give me those gifts and give me the ability to prophesy so that I can encourage people. In Jesus' name, I ask this, Jesus, my Savior, Jesus, my Lord. I ask it in his name and for his purposes. Amen. So if you prayed that prayer, uh, go to my website at prophetic, uh, personalprophecytoday.com. Get my email address or just uh, do the contact page on that website and, and uh, put on some worship music for 20 minutes and, uh, and listen to some worship. And then uh, I want you to uh, write me an email and say, Matthew, I feel the Lord wants me to say. And when you get to the word say in your email, just listen to the first sentence and type out the first sentence that Jesus is going to give you for me. When you finish the first sentence, uh, the next sentence will appear in your mind. Type out that sentences. Type out two to three sentences. And as you're typing out those two to three sentences, you may get the thought, 
if Satan's up to his old tricks. I'm just making this up. Oh, this is all so general. This isn't a true prophecy. If you get a thought like that, just ignore it and keep on writing the message. I want you to write six to eight sentences and send it to me and say, Matthew, I'm just practicing my prophecy gift. If you do that, I promise you, I will reply to your email and I'll take each sentence and I'll give you feedback on each of the sentences so that you know that you have got the gift of prophecy. And then I encourage you to read Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple and start to encourage people. Go out and start to encourage people. Can I pray for you? Dear Father, I pray that uh, you would encourage the listener of this video. I pray that uh, they would pray this prayer to get the gift of prophecy. And I pray that uh, they would start to exercise the gift of prophecy. I pray that uh, they would go on and read my six books uh, on the prophetic. And I pray that everyone who's attracted to this video may be called to become a prophet one day. And I pray that they can uh, read my books and uh, learn about the prophetic gift and go out and change hundreds of lives through their prophetic gifting. I pray that uh, you will bless these people, encourage these people, and I pray that um, they, they won't doubt, and I pray that uh, you will come against all fear and doubt and the mechanisms of the enemy, and uh, I pray that you bless them, encourage them, and uh, let them uh, be mighty seed sowers in the coming harvest in these last days. In Jesus' name I ask, amen. I, I hope that uh, you encu were encouraged by this video. Uh, if you like this video, press like. If you didn't like it, press thumbs down. Um, if you want to comment, please comment. Um, if you don't want to write to my email address, uh, just uh, write a prophecy in, in the comments on the YouTube video and I can do that. Um, just remember... It doesn't matter what the prophecy is, I'm going to respond. And you'll find even if you're saying Jesus really loves you, Jesus is proud of you, you're doing a wonderful job, keep writing books. Even if it sounds really basic to you, when the Holy Spirit is on it, it's powerful for me. And I never tire of hearing Jesus loves me and, and that he's proud of me. Uh, so... God bless you. I encourage you. I look forward to your emails. And I promise you, if you write to my email address and you say you're practicing prophecy and you listen to this video, uh, I'll give you feedback. God bless you and keep you. Amen.